It is the 4th of the 12th, 2011. This is tonight's climate change update. Well, it's going to be a quick one. I only have a few stories I want to cover with you. Uh, the extinction protocol. Somerset officials warn against gas exploration project in Mendip could awaken massive volcano. Now this is out of Britain. Does a great and terrible fate await us if drilling starts below the Mendip Hills to extract gas? Question mark. A Mendip Hills expert says it might. Nigel Taylor, caver, wildlife and nature campaigner, uh, explosives expert, and, and Mendip district counselor has carried out a study of the Mendip Hills and has discovered that there is a volcanic plug that could be holding back a river of lava ready to erupt if disturbed. It may sound really ridiculous, uh, Mr. Taylor said, but it is no more ridiculous than drilling deep into the Earth's crust and setting off explosions to release trapped gas without knowing all the potential consequences. We could be sitting on a Mendip volcano. Definitely something to get into. 5.3 magnitude earthquake strikes near Wellington, New Zealand. A moderately strong 5.3 magnitude quake centered in New Zealand's scenic Marlborough Sounds at the top of the South Island broke windows Saturday in the capital, Wellington, police said. Uh, there were no serious reports of damage, but Radio New Zealand said windows in Wellington Harbour side office buildings were broken, and some re residents reported islands, uh, items shaken off the shelves. And they're saying the depth was 60 kilometers. And that is about all they have tonight. Uh, even Sot.net doesn't have anything going on. Over to the RSOE real quick. Uh, the volcano in Guatemala, this uh, Sierra Madre um, Mount Fuego, uh, they're saying that's calming down actually. Um, there's a steady ash shoot coming off the top of the volcano, but it's only 300 meters in height. And uh, the wind's blowing it downwind, of course. And uh, they're saying the, the volcanoes calm down. Uh, Switzerland's reporting drought across the Alps. Uh, they don't have um, moderate snowfall this year, and they're worried about the tour season. And that's about all they have besides uh, they had a report out on El Euro um, saying it's calmed down since the weekend, but, you know, it's been up and down anyway. And the only thing I really have on the nuclear stuff off of E&E News today, Fukushima recalls eerie, deep popping noise from the bottom of reactor before his boots melted. Kodo edits out important details. Uh, the original and interim report released Friday from the, by uh, TEPCO was the first detailed testimonies from workers who were hailed as heroes in the weeks following the accident as they took extreme health risks to try to prevent a worse nuclear disaster. Quote, we got to the place to open the valve. I heard an eerie, deep popping noise from inside the torus, a donut-shaped structure at the bottom of the reactor, he said. When I put one of my feet on the torus to reach the valve, my black rubber boot melted and slipped due to the heat. And uh, what Kodo reported was a worker engaged in a task venting was quoted as saying, I heard some big, weird, dull popping sounds, and when I tried to start working, my black rubber boots melted because of the heat. So uh, that's definitely just an example of how they are tweaking the stories to uh, make them less offensive to everyone. Um, that is about it, actually, today. So uh, it's been a pretty good day. we still got that big system rolling through the United States. Uh, I have been checking my background numbers with my Geiger counter. I'm going to go ahead and share my notes tonight because a lot of people are, are asking. Um, there you go. You can pause and whatever, check out my numbers. So my standard background numbers is uh, not very high today, actually a little lower than yesterday. I did test the rain uh, a couple, three, four times, uh, but the numbers weren't enough to be, you know, any real concerning. I mean, the numbers were up, but not, nothing to worry about. Um, so, just another day here on planet Earth. Remember to try to have fun today. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.